Hi guys, welcome to Educating Jenny. Why is my voice so high today? Okay. I'm Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani, hi. So welcome to day... Oh crap, I don't even know what day it is. I don't even know. The times and the places are always just confusing my soul and I can't ever figure out. Okay, we're on day five. Welcome to day five of my collaboration with Tommy from Tofu Tommy. If you guys don't know who he is, please go check him out. He's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful human being. I adore him. I cannot say enough good things about him. He's wonderful. Um, he's the one that I've been doing this collaboration with all week. Um, he got his part. He answered all of his questions in one video and I'm doing it one question every day because I ramble and, and you know the drill if you've been watching it. So anyway, go check out the other ones if you haven't already. And today we're going to do question five and thank you to Tommy for coming up with all of these. He's so one. I just can't even, I can't just go subscribe, go check out his channel. He's so inspirational and he is so strong. So I will put his information below. He is a man that's recovering from anorexia and you don't see a lot of that. You don't see a lot of men that talk about that, that do struggle. I know that it's mostly women that struggle with eating disorders, but there are a lot of men out there that struggle too. And so it's kind of refreshing to get his point of view on things about eating disorders, like from a male point of view, like that's really interesting. So, okay, so question five. Do you believe eating disorders would be preventable if more education was provided by schools about recognizing signs of mental illness and encouragement to seek help in the early stages or that it is something genetically pre predisposed to as I feel it's something that we are predisposed to and, and that a traumatic event triggers the illness? Okay, do I think it? Yeah, I think I remember in health class when I was in high school, I remember like being so confused because by then I knew that I had an eating disorder, like it was named, it was diagnosed to me by a therapist, like I knew that I had it. And so I kind of went into health class expecting to learn about that. And we didn't talk about it even for one lesson, nothing, not even a mention, nothing. And that made me like wonder, like, is this a real thing? Is this actually an actual disease? Probably not. And so how about I keep it going? Cause clearly it's not even, Clearly it's not even like important enough to be taught in a typical high school health class. And so maybe it's really not as bad as I think it is or as bad as my therapist told me it was. So I'll just keep it going. Like nobody's gonna know cause nobody really cares and nobody talks about it. So like this might be a short video because all I need to say is that yes, like why are we not talking about this more in schools? I talked the other day about how, um, about how doctors because I have a brother who went through med school, a brother-in-law who went through med school and he's now doing his residency and I asked him about this and he said that it was a very, very small portion or part portion, no, a very small part, I guess, of their med school. Like they barely even talked about it. It's not a big deal. I know that that's true because 90% of the doctors I've seen throughout my life always stared at me like they have no idea what to say or they have no idea how to handle it with the fact that I have an eating disorder or they look at me like uh I don't know what to do type of a thing or they'll like automatically um reference me to like a therapist instead of like talking about them talking about it themselves that's why I love my doctor so much she knows she knows about it probably because she has so much experience with it but she just also seems to really care and she wants she like wants to know about it and so i really have a feeling that she just kind of went above and beyond in her medical training and learned about it herself or that she just learned it through experience i don't know but either way i just love her for that <clears throat> but anyway so like it already makes me really mad that they don't talk about it in med school like that's so weird to me or that if they do it's for like one page of a whole book like it's nothing and it's the it's even worse in schools from my experience i don't know i would like to know these days because i'm pretty freaking old um i would like to know from all of you youngins out there does your health class ever teach about eating disorders how if they do is it very serious like do they warn you of how serious it is or is it just like a chapter in your book that you do quickly and not even pay attention to and move on like how how is it being taught if it's even being taught i hope it is 
That's my hope that it is these days. I have not been in high school for 13 years. I am so old. Wait, is that right? When did I graduate? 2003? <gasps> like I knew I was old, but I didn't know I was that old. 13 years ago, that's when I graduated? Holy crap. So anyway, clearly I'm very old and clearly the times may have changed by now, who knows? So I want to know in the comment section below, tell me if they are teaching you, tell me what they're teaching you and if they are, you should freaking like bring up my channel in class and do like a report on me and be like, there's this girl on YouTube and she will, she struggles and she'll be there for you and she'll teach you things and she'll make you feel like you're not alone if you're struggling and you don't even have to tell them that you're struggling you could just be like uh, a friend recommended me to her and um like because i doubt you want to get up there and tell your entire class but that's something we could do that's a good idea if you if you're ever asked to do like a project or something uh, do it on eating disorders if they give you the option to choose any like health problem in the world to do a report on, you should do it about eating disorders and get the conversation started in your classroom or with your teacher or whoever. And maybe, maybe, maybe if you're feeling brave enough, ask your teacher if, if they haven't taught you already, ask them if that will be in the curriculum for the year, if that'll even come up. Like, cause I'm really, really curious to know if times have changed, if times have gotten better. Um, because for me, it just was nothing. I remember talking a little bit about suicide, a little bit. Um, like literally one little presentation about suicide. Um, that's about it. Like I remember, yeah, that's about it. Nothing else, nothing. Like, come on, school system people, get it together. We have a lot to get done. We have a lot of people to help. This is the shortest video I've ever done. I don't know what else to say. I'm just like, yes, it needs to be more in the educational systems. How can we do this? I'm like ready to go to all the schools and, and do like assemblies with the little school people and like the little ones even maybe figure out a way. Like I remember in junior high or in elementary school, I mean, when I was little, I remember doing a lot of like, I'm coming. I remember doing a lot of assemblies where people would come and talk to us like about drugs and smoking and alcohol and all those things like and yeah and if you can talk to children about drugs why can't you talk to children about eating disorders why can we not warn them like this is another okay here's what i'll say to make this video longer you're welcome <gasps> I just, I, 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 I've been trying to figure out for months and months and months and months now how to do that video that I've been wanting to do forever, but I can't figure out how to do it, which is how to talk to your kids about eating disorders. When's the appropriate age to start? How do you approach it? What are the words that you use that would be appropriate for children? These are things that I've been trying to figure out. I've been asking all of the moms in my life what they think and I keep getting like completely opposite opinions and I don't know who to go with and I don't know what to do because I'm not a mom. So I don't know, are you a mom? Like you guys should give me your opinions below too and maybe I'll just like make a video of like all the opinions I've received and then give my personal opinion even though I'm not a mother. But what I plan to do with my kids, I don't know because it's like, Education is there for a reason. It's because children between the ages of what, when they're born to what, like 18 or something, I think that's why we are forced to go to school because that is the time of our life when our brains are developing and when our brains will take information, remember it the best and hold on to it forever. And so we need to sneak in there during those ages before their brain finishes developing and it's too late, you know, like we need to get in there. I wish someone could have done that for me and nobody could do that because my brain was just screwed up and nobody could help me with it because nobody knew to talk about it. Nobody knew how or what to say or what to do. And so we need to figure out a way to get into the little brains of the little peoples and 
planted in them how dangerous and how bad it is and and just focus on being happy and healthy and learning how to love your body and learning how to treat your body right and doing it and being healthy in a healthy way and not in a bad way and not looking thin and fit you know but actually being fit like actually being healthy and strong and things like we need to get in the brains and the peoples of the teachers of the children of the teachers of the students of the world that's all i have to say let's start a conversation below and keep this conversation going and i will see you tomorrow for another what is tomorrow tomorrow is day six so tomorrow here's the question for tomorrow have you found the online community for eating disorder recovery as a positive experience dis despite many sites like pro anna and pro mia <coughs> and what have you done to make sure that it doesn't filter your channel and what do you feel should be done to stop this dangerous community this is a really good question i love this question i'm very excited to answer this tomorrow <laughs> So join me tomorrow for day six of my collaboration with Tommy. And again, Tommy, thank you so much for coming up with these questions, for giving me credit for them when you really are the one that came up with them because you're just so selfless and kind all the time. Um, but thank you for doing this collab with me. Go check out his answers to all of these 10 questions. He answered them all at once and I will put that video below and I'll also put the link to his channel below. And you can go, please, please go support him. He deserves it and he is just so wonderful and so kind. So, okay, so I'll see you tomorrow for that. And then I'll also see you tomorrow for, what's tomorrow, Tuesday? Tomorrow, oh, tomorrow's Tuesday. So I will be doing another Q and A tomorrow. I'll probably just do one since I'm doing the question from Tommy, but there will be two different separate videos. You're going to be getting a buttload of videos from me lately. Like you're getting like so many videos from me. Are you sick of me? A little bit though? Are you a little? Tell me in the comments below. So I love you guys very much. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Please subscribe if you haven't already. No one's watching this far. No one that has not subscribed already is even watching this far. I should start saying it at the beginning. I need to rethink my whole formats of things, of the times, of the places. <clears throat> anyway, I love you, Shani family, Shani fannies, and I, with all my heart, and thank you for everything. And you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am too. And thank you again, Tommy, I love you very much. Have a good day, you guys. Bye!